chain. Well done, young man. That is a superb performance. Fantastic performance from uh, the local lad. Ricky, um, we'll start with Marnus. Uh, an outstanding performance. Nice to get that century monkey off his back, I guess. Uh, look, he played beautifully. He's been a, a, an unbelievably, unbelievable find, really, for Australian cricket. You know, coming in when he did in the middle of the Ashes with, you know, as a um, concussion sub, and then playing as well he did over there in tough conditions. Uh, he just looks a, a really well organised Test match player. His technique stood up to everything that we've seen so far. He plays fast bowling well. He looks like a very good player of spin bowling. So. Uh, awesome innings today. I'm sure he'll uh, remember that for the rest of his life. You know, his wife was there, his family was here. We saw his dad in the crowd as well. So it's going to be something special that he'll remember for a long time. Yeah! Hold him straight through. Yasir Shah just strike. That is the key wicket of uh, Steve Smith. And well deserved from Yasir Shah. We spoke at last time. He looks like he's going to take a wicket. He looked threatening straight away. Now, the only actual failure of the day in this Australian batting order was Steve Smith, ironically. Um, four out to Yassi Shah. Do we read anything into this statistic around Yassi having dismissed him seven times, or, or would Smith be reading anything into it? Um, well, it's the second most, I think, in his test career. I think Stuart Broad's got him eight times, and, and Yassi now has got him seven times. Four of those um, actually here in Australia, which you, you wouldn't think. You'd think most of those would be in the subcontinent. But... Um, I mean, you've got to read a little bit into it. Probably to me, to me today, it just looked like a, almost just a tired shot. Like he'd been sitting around all day and a lot of the day today, waiting for an opportunity to bat, and it just didn't look like he was. He switched on self. Even the shot that he got off the mark with it was a little bit, little bit uncharacteristic for, for Stevie. And he normally gets in and gets himself set, and certainly doesn't take too many risks early on. So, um, yeah, he's allowed to fail every once in a while. He hasn't done it for a long, long time. But uh, yeah, if he gets a chance to bat in the second innings, look out, and if he, once he gets himself in, in the second test match, I'm sure he'll make a big one as well.